pieces that we were talking about in your swing analysis video. Obviously, one of the things that we see is that as you go back, two things happen. Number one, we go into a little bit of squat with the knees. And number two, we see a lot of lift with the left arm into the top of the backswing. So what we really want to see here is two things. As we swing back to the top, we want to allow the right leg to extend or straighten a little bit. We don't want it to be fully locked out. We want to see a little bend in it. But really, as we swing the golf club back, I want to feel as if my right leg is allowed to extend and turn. Secondly, we want to feel like your left shoulder moves downwards or stays at least connected to your body. So as we swing back, instead of seeing a squat and a lift, we're going to see a little bit more of the right leg extend slightly. We're going to see the left shoulder go down. So you'll really see it's pushing down below my chin and creating quite a steep plane or steep angle with my shoulders. Easy way to do this is using just a small towel uh, or a glove. So the towel is going to basically go underneath my left arm. So we're going to make little slow back swings where we bring it back into the position. Left shoulder goes down and we extend our right leg a little bit and we're going to hit a small punch. Now when we hit the punch, I want to feel like we punch it and we stay quite low. So I kind of keep a little bit of spine angle here out towards the golf ball. So if I was to do that with a golf ball at a slow speed, we just bring it back, nice turn, just extending right leg, left shoulder down, little punch. So like I said, I'm kind of keeping a little bit over the ball and keeping my angles as I hit through. So let's try that again. So really keeping in mind, left leg extends, left, sorry, right leg extends and left shoulder goes down. So we'll give that one more go. Nice and steady, right leg extends, left shoulder goes down and punch. And the whole idea behind that punch swing is to help you feel two things. One, that we're staying in posture or staying down through the golf ball as we hit it. But after we've hit it, we want to feel as if we can follow it. So what I want to see is that your chest kind of comes forward and through the ball and it doesn't fall back away from it. So we're really looking, once we've hit that ball, to be forward on our left side and really, really kind of staying in that spine angle as we hit it. Do it really slow to begin. It doesn't need to be at high speed, but we want to do it correctly. That's the most important thing.